Hi, how are you? In today's video, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of three different types of wood beddings and one type of paper bedding. One thing I thought would be really important to explain is what drying process the beddings go through and why that's important because that will help with explaining some of these pros and cons. The first thing is that any trees, when they're cut down to be milled, they have to be dried in some sort of way, either by air or kiln. And this helps to dry them out so that they can then absorb or be used in whatever projects they're gonna be turned into. You cannot have a bedding that isn't kiln dried within the US. If it's not kiln dried, it's going to literally be wet and it will feel damp, it can get moldy, and then it's not gonna do its job for the animals. This is important because with some types of wood, it has to be kiln dried in order to remove dangerous phenols. And then there's other types of wood that it's not gonna matter if it's kiln dried or not, it doesn't have phenols to begin with that need to be dried out. Those phenols are what are going to cause a really strong aroma to the wood itself. Things like cedar and pine and even like fir trees all have this really like strong Christmassy smell or woody smell. And for some animals, those things can be really dangerous, but we'll get into that in a minute. Aspen is generally considered the safest because it doesn't have phenols to begin with when it's cut down. So once it is kiln dried, it is not going to be any issues at all whatsoever from that perspective. The pros of that, it absorbs moisture. It's going to bind ammonia so that it can help to dissipate properly into the air. It's inexpensive. It provides digging enrichment and forging enrichment. It is purchasable throughout most of the USA. It's safe because of the phenol thing. It also was tested in labs and was found safe as well. It can work for those with other wood allergies, which we'll get to in a minute. And then there's a couple of cons. Um, it can be an allergen for some people who are allergic to wood-based beddings and it can be really expensive at pet stores. And I will say in some tests, it was shown to be a little more dusty than others. Next, we're gonna talk about cedar bedding, which is an absolute do not use for your pets. And we're gonna actually flip flop these and go over the cons first for that reason. It's very dangerous because cedar, even if it's been kiln dried, still has a high amount of phenols that are unsafe for pets. This is any pet from really little to as big as horses. It has been shown to cause major issues with horses Horses are extremely sensitive and they're also really expensive to own. So a lot of times we can look at what's safe for horses and even birds. And if it's unsafe for those animals, we should probably not use it with our rats. And cedar is one of those beddings. It has a very strong smell and it is not allergy friendly at all. A lot of people tend to be allergic to cedar more than any other kind of bedding. The pros are that it can be inexpensive and it's sold all over the place. It does bind ammonia and it absorbs moisture. The risk to your pet though is much higher than the pros, so I would never recommend cedar bedding. The next, the next one that we need to talk about is pine bedding and this kind of gets a bad rap in the pet community. It, is actually completely safe for your rats. There are many, many studies, which I'll link in the description, that show that this is safe as long as it's been dried properly, which as we discussed, it has to be. And the studies also show that when it's dried, it removes the phenols down to a safe level. It's not usually extremely um, aromatic, but it will have a little bit of a smell when you open the bag. That's okay and normal for this type of wood. The pros for pine bedding are that it absorbs moisture, it binds ammonia so that it can dissipate properly. It's inexpensive. In fact, at most tractor supply stores and Walmarts, it's about $8 for a bag. 
It provides really good enrichment for your rats so they can dig and forage like they should be able to. You can get it pretty much anywhere. I have seen it at grocery stores, at um, pet supply stores, at horse and farm supply stores, so it's sold all over the place. It's cons are that there's a lot of people who are also allergic to this bedding and some animals can be too. However, just because you change the bedding and your rats sneeze doesn't mean they're allergic to it. Rats often have to go through an adjustment period of about two weeks, just like they do when you bring them home and they will sneeze. They can do this even if you've moved them from some sort of substrate like pine or aspen to fleece, they will sneeze for a couple of weeks. It doesn't mean they're allergic though, it's just their body's adjusting to the change. Um, some of the cheaper brands can be dusty. The best brand I ever found was actually at PetSmart and it was so soft and fluffy. It did not feel like any poor quality pine I've ever felt. It was a lot more expensive though, so I only bought it one time when I was in a pinch. The last bedding that we need to talk about is one that pet owners really need to be very careful with. It's sold in pet stores and just because something is sold in a pet store and marketed towards a specific animal doesn't mean that it's safe for that animal. Just because a pet store employee tells you to switch to a certain thing doesn't mean it's safe for that animal. And I'm gonna go a little further here. Just because a vet tells you that a certain type of bedding is the best thing. Don't trust that either. You need to look at scientific studies because a lot of people are not up to date on them and info changes all the time. This bedding that I'm gonna discuss is paper bedding such as Carefresh or other similar types. They go under many brands, but Carefresh is the one that is most well known. The pros are that it is cute and pretty to look at. It comes in lots of different colors so you can match your cage aesthetic or your room decor very easily. It is available in many, many stores, just like Aspen and Pine Yarn. It does provide enrichment and um, it can actually help when mixed with other beddings to allow the rats to dig and build tunnels. So some people do use it that way. And it's usually very allergy friendly, especially for humans who are allergic to wood-based beddings. However, there's a lot of cons to it. It's not actually very absorbent. If the bedding is colored, as we discussed earlier, it often is, it has already absorbed that color, so it's not gonna work as well to absorb urine and wetness from say drippy water bottles or that sort of thing. It is often scented, and as we know, our rats are very sensitive. Their little respiratory systems can't handle a lot of things that are fragrance like oils and perfumes and air fresheners and sprays and that kind of thing. So a scented bedding that they're living on all the time is gonna be equally problematic. It's also expensive. This is one of the bigger cons to it. A reasonable size bag is going to cost quite a bit of money. And because it doesn't bind ammonia, you really need to change it almost daily, depending on the cage size and number of rats. So that adds up really quickly. It also is a major mite risk. Almost all the time, I see that people who have had a recent mite outbreak have been using paper bedding and didn't know that this is a common issue with it easiest way I've seen to avoid mites is not to use paper bedding. And I also wanted to mention that because of it performing so poorly in scientific studies, it was actually discontinued within a very short time frame compared to the other beddings. There's a safe range for ammonia levels to build up to and the paper bedding went that high and much, much higher very quickly. And some people will see this infographic and go, oh, well, it was used for three weeks. It should never be used for that long. And that's true. But if you divide this high number by three and divide the lower numbers by three, you'll see it's still extremely high and unsafe. Paper bedding is not really even used in lab settings anymore because of this, maybe for very specific testing purposes but typically they use a different kind of bedding than we do that is specifically made for a lab setting and absorbs a specific amount and is very, very regulated so that it doesn't affect their end outcomes with their testing. Because of all that, I just do not recommend paper bedding ever. And I've just seen so many times when people ask why their rats smell, probably eight times out of 10, it's because they're using paper bedding and switching to something like pine or aspen will just solve the problem almost overnight. So 
Hopefully this information is helpful for you and will let you pick out a bedding that is safest and healthiest for your home. I really appreciate that you watched it. Thanks so much. Bye.